Hey guys and welcome back to the Old Car Guy YouTube channel. Today we are going to be rebuilding a Rochester Quadrajet carburetor for Old Dale the truck. So stay tuned. So if you don't know who Dale the truck is, this is my 77 Chevrolet C10 Scottsdale that we have dubbed Dale here on the channel. And uh, if you've been watching any of our previous episodes on this, you'll know that I've been struggling with a few gremlins on the carburetor and today we are actually going to dive into the original Rochester Quadrajet carburetor that came with that truck when it was new. I've matched up the serial number on the side of it and it is numbers matching to the truck. Uh, today we're going to clean it up, tear it apart, dive into it and we've got the kit uh, to put things back together and put those gaskets where they're supposed to go. Hopefully uh, we get this done and I don't lose any parts. But before we jump into this, I want to remind you guys of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, which is happening Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. This week it'll be over here at Grant Tommy's page, who is Straight Six Fan. We share the hosting duties of the show. Last week it was on my channel, this week it will be on Grant Tommy's. So I hope that you can head on over there, subscribe to him, and tune in. And if you check out the link in the description box below, we are on a podcast as well. Follow that link and you can listen to us on the drive home, on the way to work, whenever, wherever you're going. Uh, season 4 has brought forth the podcast. Having said all that, let's get into tearing apart this Quadrajet. Alright, so a couple of things that I do want to point out before we get uh, right into this is this is the CarQuest kit that I got for this Quadrajet carburetor. It's a 96530. It should have everything you need inside that to tear this apart and put it back together. Very minimal tools, flathead screwdriver, a little mini pry bar, and a couple pair of pliers to pull some things apart uh, that we may not be able to get with our fingers. So, so one thing that you're gonna wanna do also before you get started is you're gonna wanna have some rags as well as some brake cleaner and or carb cleaner. And don't forget, you wanna go to the closet and grab a really good towel. That way you've got something that all this dirt can get collected on, you can just throw it right in the wash. Trust me, your wife won't mind at all. So the other thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want a little dish to put some of these small parts in so they don't roll off the table or roll away and you get lost because you do not want to lose anything off of this carburetor. This is the first time I've ever torn apart a Quadrajet, so you guys are gonna do this with me. Hopefully, um, we can get this thing apart and put back together in the way that we started. One thing you'll also kind of take note of is uh, I went around this uh, very thoroughly with my phone took a bunch of pictures so that we know where certain things go like all these rods for the choke and then over here there's some springs and some rods for the uh, accelerator pump and, and all that stuff so you're going to want to know where all that stuff goes back together so without further ado let's tear in to tearing this apart so I'm going to do my best to talk my way through this uh, with you guys uh, rather than just kind of dive into it so I think what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with taking apart any of the loose stuff around the outside edges and we'll set those aside and then we can start kind of going in towards the center. We've got the um, your choke uh, and that's just held on there with a little clip. We're going to pull that off and then we'll start taking off some of these rods. And then I'm going to take that little clip and snap it right back on there so that we don't lose it. Well, I think we're going to come back to that because I think that is attached to the throttle plate on the underside. And as is all of this stuff. So, maybe we won't start with the outside. I think what we'll do is we'll get this accelerator pump off and then we can start taking all the screws off the top and that'll get that off. So. That's held in there with a dowel. We gotta get that out. Okay, so when the camera didn't record because I didn't press the record button, what we did was we took out the screws that are all around the outside perimeter here. There's two down inside the primaries and two here that you don't wanna forget. I also took this little plate off here, uh, which is this that I believe hold those what might be metering rods or some sort of thing. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about, but nevertheless, um, we've pried up 
on the top plate and it's ready to come off now so we're just going to lift it up and uh, kind of give it a little spin to knock off this one rod over here so those rods came out and there's your top plate looking right down into the center so what we're going to do is take this set it aside for a moment and we'll finish disassembling uh, the top plate so the accelerator pump just kind of pops out of place we're going to stick that in the bowl and if you look up here uh, we're going to take apart these uh, plates here as well as uh, these little things which you want to make sure that those are seated as well so let's flip her back over that one feels like it's going to as well I certainly don't want to risk that one breaking and then be left with nothing so what to do what to do I think we may have to leave that for now and come back to it there's not too much left in there that comes apart so we're gonna leave this one alone for the time being we'll come back to it and we'll have to figure out something uh, how to fix that broken screw right there so now we can take apart this first gasket which everything's dry in there I guess that's a good thing and this is a spring for your accelerator pump so we'll take that out little thing here looks like it just pops out of there maybe yep and then you've got your float and a little tiny piece just fell out of there I don't know what that was but I think it came out of that little hole in there. It looks like there might be. And there is a spring in there. And is there anything else? It don't look like it. So down in here is your jets. So we're going to pop those out. And then there's one screw right here. That's holding something together. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, there is. A little check ball. I don't know where that came from. Instructions will tell us where that came from. And then we've got this big piece here. I don't think I have, oh, I guess I do. It's gotta come out. Okay, so we've got everything all tore apart. We've gone through the kit to see what we have and what we're gonna need to replace things with. And uh, one thing that we did notice is that the gasket that goes on the bottom of this section right here uh, is slightly different than the ones that came with the kit so we're just going to leave that one on there and we're not going to tear it apart but we do have new um, needle and seats and all this stuff that we're going to replace there's a new uh, new seal for the accelerator pump and uh, we're just going to go through and replace what we can and what we know uh, other than that we're going to take the brake cleaner get all the surfaces cleaned up uh, inside and out and we can start putting this thing together this by no means is meant to be an instructional video because like I said I've never done this before in a quadrajet and I really don't know what I'm doing this is just for you to tag along and see what's involved so we're gonna grab the brake cleaner and we're gonna start spraying some things down and we'll get back to you here very shortly uh, when we start putting things back together and hopefully uh, we don't have any parts left over so let's get to cleaning
All right, so we've gotten everything all cleaned up uh, really good, and we're getting ready to start putting things back together. So remember I said something about the check ball? Well, I found out in the instructions where that goes, and we are going to get ready to put that back together along with the jets, the seat. Trying to do a video here, kids. So all these pieces are going to go back together, um, and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this is the new whatever it is. This is the old one. This is quite pointy. This is rounded off. So we're hoping that this will help aid in whatever this was supposed to do because it's sharp and pointy. Technical terms, sharp and pointy. So I'm not going to sit here and talk myself through all of this uh, assembly. I'm going to do it in a uh, time lapse. Hopefully you guys can follow along, uh, but in the meantime, we're going to plug away at it. So, fingers crossed. So it was at this point that I remembered a couple of things. One, I didn't fix the uh, broken screw right there, so the top has to come off again. This rod connects to something down inside that hole to do with the choke. I did not connect it, so this top plate has to come back off. Like I said folks, I'm not a professional, I've never done this before, but we're learning as we go. So. Top's gonna come off, put this rod on, we'll see if we can fix that uh, broken screw, and well, decide where we're gonna go from there. Okay, so we managed to get that rod connected here, uh, which is attached to the choke, as you see. Uh, all five of the main components that hold this top piece to the middle piece are in, uh, they're tight, and we've got three more to go, four more to go. We got two long ones that go all the way down through, uh, and then we got these that go up through on the uh, bottom side of the plate. This is where the pictures that we took earlier with our camera are going to come into play to make sure that we know where all the levers are attached as far as the accelerator pump, this little piece which attached the choke to something somewhere along the way. Uh, so we're going to get started with putting everything back together. Hopefully we can get it on the first try. We don't have to tear it apart two or three times to do it. So here's some more music. As I'm putting this thing together and trying to figure out where some of these parts go, I realized a couple things once again that I had this little piece here, I didn't know where it went. And over here, I see a little spring that belongs somewhere. Now, you guys are probably watching this video after the fact and saying, Jason, you forgot that spring in the wherever. Yeah, here it is. At least I have it. So I think I know where it goes. But that means I gotta take the top off again. And this piece here, I think, is part of the choke. Because I took pictures, I was able to figure out that that piece is right down in there, sticking out of that little arm. That little arm is right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's the screwdriver on the end of it. That piece slides on like so and then this gets tightened up when I put the screw in behind there to hold all this assembly back together again. Then we take our choke that we pulled off with that little clip and that will clip on right in there. So again, the importance of taking pictures is that you've got something, uh, some sort of a resource to go back and jog your memory and figure out where things go. So. 
Uh, I'm going to get that choke thing uh, put back on and then we're going to have to take that top hat off likely again to figure out where that spring goes. Like I said, I think I know where it is, but we got to dive into it one more time. Okay, so we've got this thing apart for the third time and we've got to find a spot for the spring and according to the instructions, there's supposed to be one down inside that little chamber and uh, when I pulled this out, it did not fall out with it. So that is going to go down inside in there like so and then this little device goes back into place here. seated in place and we'll put her back together for the third time and hopefully that will be it okay so there you have it there is the complete and final assembly of this quadra jet and it only took me three disassemblies and reassemblies to get it down right after forgetting a few parts and uh, managing to get some things back in place so everything seems to be working the way it was when I took it apart all the pictures match all we need to do to get it working on the truck now is just a little adapter for the fuel inlet here on the front and maybe some uh, vacuum hoses and we should be able to get this thing installed. So that's not going to be in this video, that will be in the next one. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the installation of this Quadrajet on Dale. We'll get it tuned up the best I know how and then we'll take it for a test drive and see how it works in comparison to the Edelbrock that's on it now. See if we can't get rid of some of those uh, carburetor gremlins as, uh, as we've been calling it. So that's going to do it for this video guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscription button down below. And give this video a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that I'm doing a pretty good job. And hopefully it'll bring more people to my channel in hopes that we can get to that 5,000 subscriber um, goal by December 31st but also keep in mind if we get to 10,000 by December 31st I'm gonna shave this beard off so if you want to see me get uh, baby face one more time that I haven't been in almost five years then help me get the 10k share out these videos and tell your friends and uh, if you're in any specific type of groups like Panther platforms or Mopars or square body trucks well share them out because that's exactly what we're doing on this channel so guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.